My dear students, the first Torah portion, Breshit, narrates the conflict between the first children, Cain and Abel. When the brothers brought sacrifices to God, and only Abel's was accepted, Cain's frustration erupted into murder, a consequence of Cain losing a battle, first fought within himself over good and evil. The message is that although man is filled with dark forces, he must resist and overrule the temptations to do wrong. It is always within our power to triumph over the sinful inclination, the Yetzer Hara. Sin is an act, a choice, and not a state of being. Man is created with the power to do evil, as well as the ability to master it and choose good. Allying himself with his Yetzer Hatov, the good inclination. John Steinbeck wrote in East of Eden that we are all descendants of Cain, Abel had none, and possess free will in the struggle between the good and evil within us. We are condemned by neither nature nor nurture to be one way or another. We all create our destinies by choosing between virtue and vice. The book's narrator says, humans are caught in their lives, thoughts, hungers, ambitions, avarice, and cruelty, and in their kindness and generosity too, in a net of good and evil. We all have only one story. All novels, all poetry, are built on the never-ending contest in ourselves of good and evil. A man, after he has brushed off the dust and chips of his life, will have only the hard, clean questions. Was it good or was it evil? Have I done well or ill? It occurs to me that evil must constantly respawn, while good, virtual, is venerable as nothing else in the world is. Every day we stand at a crossroads. May our choices be for good, for life, and for blessing. Shabbat Shalom.